Hey, what's up, guys? Your Urge Wargamer back with the, the second part of the uh, tier 10 American carrier Franklin D. Roosevelt. I explained quite a lot of things of uh, in the uh, first part that what is FDR, what FDR is, and what uh, specification that is ha does it have, and what it is good in, like. I told I talked about what it is good against and what it is not or maybe not the best but this time I'm gonna be commenting on a full game that I played myself this is not a replay this is a game played by myself in FDR in a ranked battle that is going on uh, in this game I'm specifically of course gonna be talking about its strengths and in weaknesses in general which I didn't I think covered much in the previous first part I'm gonna be explicitly explain the strengths and weaknesses along you can watch the video in which I did 336 K damage which is insane in ranked battles in which there are like only seven ships and you're still able to do that much damage which is kind of insane but you will see this how it's gonna work you see I passed through Kleber sailor and now I am coming and dropping the GK on the seaside GK eat eight of them eight bombs and since they are midway bombs they deal massive damage I only got already got three fires which of course he's gonna force to DCP and now the harass time begins it's the bane of battleship which you will clearly see in the video but along while you're watching this video i'm gonna be talking about strengths specifically how you can make this work and what you can do with this as you can see dodging flags along the way and i am trying to maneuver my bombs in such a way so that i get a decent drop on the gk again and get a perma fire right now fortunately he is a maneuvering and that's why uh, he didn't take full impact and neither I got a fire which is which I'm actually un uh, very very unlucky to be fair because these bombs with my captain build deal 69% fire chance it's staggering 69% fire chance of bombs and 5 bomb hits does not set a fire so that was unlucky on my part of course this is a third attack run in front of the midway in front, uh, sorry, in front of Salem and GKA again, and this time I managed to get a nice aim and drop on the GK, and I get six bombs hit while setting a perma fire, which is nice thing, and that's what FDR is about: setting fires and floods and do crazy damage, at least on capital battleships. Okay, after using the torpedo, uh, the bombs, the midway bombs, I'm coming with the torpedo bombs. By the way, torpedo bombs, I didn't, I didn't explain the first part, these torpedo bombs are tier 4 Langley torpedo bombs. And by the way, the tier 4 Langley bombs are, the torpedo bombs are nerfed. So now they are pre-nerfed torpedo bombs of Langley. The US tier 4 carrier. That, that, that doesn't have the best flood chance and that, that doesn't do a lot of damage. 4233 to be precise per hop damage. But if you are drop 8 of them, you will take some damage. As you will see, I'm gonna drop on a pushing Salem, to just show you it is absolutely capable of dealing well against these cruisers, especially the DM and Salem that are kind of bowed in or forced to be bowed in. This time my aim was so potato, I didn't able to account in his speed, which means he only eat two torpedoes. Otherwise, he could have taken massive damage. Anyways, I just leave this Salem to the enemy, to our team, so that he will, of course, he's pushing so hard, he might die from the Thunder, because Thunder did massive damage with AP. But, my strength, my strength in FDR is always farming on battleships. I don't care about destroyers, and neither about the, the cruisers. I'm gonna go for the GK this time again, and I'm gonna try to drop him again. And you see the way I'm maneuvering. He's turning in, I am turning in, and I'm cancelling his maneuver effect by maneuvering my planes in a stupid way. Yeah, this is stupid. I don't know how to explain this. 
but I managed to get six top seats on the GK with a flooding. So now he actually somehow flooded. I think he damaged gone somewhere and I am getting the benefit out of it now. I got flooded and already in five minutes I got almost 93k damage. It's already a very strong start as a damage farmer in FDR. The GK thinking of pushing but seeing that I am gonna drop him again. He is kiting away and I am positioning my torpedo planes in such a way that I cancel his kiting effect to do massive damage again. This is the ultimate strength of FDR, dealing stupid damage and maneuvering in such a way that you can't do anything about. Lucky he's maneuvering, he get 5 prop hits, I could have got better, but this is entirely upon the uh, carrier player itself, how he will deal with his maneuver. If he deals with his maneuver well, by maneuvering his carrier planes, you will get all torpedoes most of the time, especially on GK. GK is the shittiest, longest ship with a shit turning circle. I'm not gonna lie. So, he maneuvering by kiting again, but I think this time he will eat a lot of torpedoes because the way I aimed on that side. So, I got a flood. So, you can see 133k damage already. Pretty nice, I guess. But you are farming parallel ships at the moment. And uh, I, s I saw that GK has just uh, kited away in such a position that now he is getting cover from Midway AA. And of course, these, these are the strengths that FDR has ability to harass capital ships. I'm gonna talk about weaknesses and how to mitigate damage in FDR. The the biggest oh my goodness the Slava just get devastated by Thunder by showing broadside that's sad for me to see but all right the the the, the weakness of these the FDR is enemy fighter planes and I'm talking about even if you have fighter planes oof, even if you have fighter planes uh, popping if you have a uh, if you don't pick spotter plane if you pick sp a fighter plane this is actually gonna help to mitigate damage from FDR because you will kill four of his fighter uh, four of his squadron planes because fighter plane doesn't deal damage with the HP pool it does cancel the planes that you have in your squadron for example if you have four planes the fighter plane of a ship will cancel four of his planes or kill four of his planes that's how fighter work the more you fighters the better you are against fdr so having a fighter consumable in a battleship is a very vital against fighting fdr because you can kill his uh, payload amount because he cannot drop you several times he will drop you a couple of times because the fighters kills his four of the fight uh, fighter like the fighter kills four of the planes to be fair under overextended so I just left him alone <laughs> he burned out that the <laughs> what the hell okay one more weakness the bombs you see he is not maneuvering I he is moving a straight line just to eat all the bombs that is not a good way to mitigate damage in FDR because at least you have to try to maneuver in such a way that you show broadside to the bombs rather than bow into the bombs you know what I mean right you can't bow in. You see, he's maneuvering, turning in. This is what you have to do from the start. But still, if a carrier player is good, he can outmaneuver him by maneuvering his bombs as well. Look what I'm doing. I'm maneuvering my bombs and I cancel his maneuvering effect. But not to such extent. I, I only got six bomb hits because he maneuvered regardless. If he would be in straight line, I would have, he would have eaten eight bombs altogether. This is unfortunately in capital battleships the only way to mitigate damage. You you will still die, but if you manage, if you manage to have a fighter plane consumable and defensive air consumable, and hope that he will, you will cancel his four squadrons by your fighter consumable, and then he might eat flak from def AA, that might be able to stop him from doing several strikes 
to basically like couple of strikes but he will do still do couple of strikes when you are isolated this is difficult to do against barrel ships but this is the only way to mitigate damage you have to maneuver hard and you have to play very very wisely if you pushing in this carrier is extremely effective when you make a crossfire out of nowhere so you either have to show broadside to the torpedoes or bombs on the torpedoes or you either have to show broadside to the other ship in his team in this case he maneuvered late and that's why he is still gonna eat torpedo damage by the way my damage is already on 255k damage which is insane of course midway is not capable of doing that thunder has good aa mind you that he has defensive aa he can do a lot of stuff but unfortunately fdr does not care about single ship aa especially especially continuous aa it can't do much you see this is defensive aa by thunder and i can just still move in his defensive aa bubble and doesn't care about the shit even stalling got pop defensive aa and i'm still dropping him like hard and fast oh this time i didn't account for his uh, for his maneuver so but but i still got a flood and i forced his damage control this is the ultimate power of ftr forcing damage control in a very d unique situations and then you drop him again to get perma fires and flood you see in the entire game i didn't go for dds i go for battleships because they are the most vulnerable targets uh, against ftr very very vulnerable when they are isolated does it mean that you stay in the top of aa yes and no if you have no means of fighter consumable you should try not to be in isolated positions otherwise you are a farming pinata against ftr just simple as that i got a perma flood 260k damage and i'm farming this thunder in with basically impunity just killing him slowly but gradually and this is the pain against ftr you just can't do much because you are isolated i will give you a small small sort of a tip maybe that helps maybe that does not one thing that you can do is if a carrier if that fdr for example comes for you uh, multiple times and if somehow you manage to survive that one strike if it comes for you again you need to go into the blob of aa you need to help you need to get some cover if there's a holland you go and ask holland or you stay somewhere close to him that's one thing but i know it's not possible the second thing that you can do ask cv for a a cover i can't emphasize you this enough that's actually cv fighters actually work well against fdr this guy is dead because i maneuvered perfectly against his maneuver it's 301k damage how much time by 15 minutes 301k damage if not for the potato nest that I did on a couple of drops, I could have done 320k damage in 15 minutes. That is absolutely nuts. All of their team, all of my team is completely dead. So now it's carrier clash time. But the advantage goes to FDR because FDR shines against aircraft carriers. If they're might be a dd like smallland and harland i might have a worst time in a carrier to be honest even worse than mvr it's not easy to do much against a a, -A dd midway can have a very good chance against uh, uh smallland or holland but i but the ftr does not have Instead of farming damage, I realize I need to win the game, not to farm any more damage because all what matters is to survive his drops and to not to think of farming damage right now. I just want to win the game for the team, to be fair. But I shot down 9 of his planes, which means that uh, he lost all the torpedo squads, maybe. But I think I shot down 5 planes that he popped uh, to perma spot me.
to know wh what my position is. So, FDR, excellent against paralysis. I will I will summarize this again, just to tell you the weakness of FDR is fighters. If carrier pops fighters on you, FDR will lose massive amount of planes and he will lose his gimmick to strike you all the time because if he at the end comes up with three torpedo squads which means he lose his gimmick to continuously deliver strikes this FDR player is in my opinion Bilibinu because he lost so many squads you won't lose squads in the first place but if you lose it is because you messed up in FDR which you should not supposed to be so th there is that. Against destroyers like Holland and Smallland, you will have probably the hardest time. But if maybe RNG might be on with your side, you might be able to get a decent drop with bombs. But don't talk about, uh, just forget about the fight rocket planes. You can't do much uh, about the rocket planes in general. FDR is not good uh, uh, to deal against. Uh, uh, the DDs when you talk about rocket planes. Rocket planes are not designed to drop on DDs. If the DD has its AA turned off, the rocket planes, I can guarantee you, they won't hurt you. You should just bow in. When he try to deliver you a strike and turn your AA off, and I will assure you, the rocket planes cannot do anything. The bombs, however, can also not do anything. If you just turn your AA on, off, turn your AA off, and just bow in and push towards that carrier do it and you will be absolutely good dd is no need to fear cruiser and barrel ship needs to fear anyway guys this is my 336k damage game in uh, ranked and i played this to show you what fdr is capable of killing battleships with no mercy wrecking cruisers when they shouldn't supposed to push when they see the FDR planes and the destroyers might need to be feared from the spotting. The spotting of the FDR is insane at the moment. I think if someone gives AA, if someone gives, sorry, if someone just uh, shoot while I'm spotting, then FDR is extremely powerful even against Holland. You can just kill them in seconds while spot them for like uh, continuously and for a long time. This is the strengths of weaknesses I want to talk about. You clearly see strengths in the game. See the damage numbers in the game. I talked about the weaknesses. You have to maneuver in such a way that you will dodge. Or at least try to dodge. Or mitigate some damage. If not all of it. At least in battleships it will be hardest. In cruiser there is a good chance that you uh, take half of the payload. While destroyers are in a best position to handle FDR uh payloads because it it's really relying on rng and then this 25 seconds of cooldown makes sure that your dpm against td is garbage yes the dds are in a good state against fdr i will say this again as i played this fdr over and over time anyway guys i think this is a bit too long commentary but i really want to explain uh, uh fdr strengths and weaknesses and my my verdict about fdr is it is really weirdly balanced i think this ship should not enter in the game in this way i think they could have uh, done something differently with fdr but they just come up with this weird stupid design which i am not a fan of as a carrier player and i think i think this ship is uh, situationally overpowered compared to other carriers situationally overpowered mvr used to be very good but they nerfed the mvr bombs and now fdr is in a top spot against uh, in the clan battles and in the competitive meta 100 percent fdr if someone has fdr and the other person don't have fdr i think this is a disadvantage for the for the other team i don't see anything else anyway guys i think this is a bit too long commentary but i want to just cover up everything strengths weaknesses weaknesses fighters again and then again if the cv main pop fighters especially after the cv rework it's gonna be uh, sorry the commander skill rework it's gonna be a lot better you can shoot down planes somehow 
uh, fighter can cancel the effect of FDR gimmick. So this is how it is. It's an unfortunate disaster sort of thing with FDR. But anyway, guys, I hope you like the video. Enjoy the video. <laughs> Hopefully, I guess you don't like watching me doing that. But yeah, this 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 is this is a concept of this ship farming. So I will see you guys into the next video. I will upload more videos. Hopefully you will uh, watch my next video soon than later. Thank you very much.